Hey, what's up? Welcome to another edition of Max Effort Muscle Meals. Coach Myers again, bringing you healthy recipes. Welcome to my kitchen. Now, today let's talk about my favorite food. Now, I get asked all the time, you know, Coach, what's your favorite food? And I would like to say, you know, maybe sushi or, you know, my dad's spaghetti meatballs or a nice big steak. But if I really had to pick one thing that I had to eat for every meal for the rest of my life, what's the most versatile, what's the best for you? I would pick eggs. It's nature's complete protein. It's great for breakfast. It's great for dinner. You can put it on a sandwich. You can do anything with eggs, you know. But as much as I love eggs and eat eggs, you got to start coming up with kind of like new variations or else you get bored with it, right? It's just like anything. So today I'm going to teach you how to make what I call taco omelet. And that's exactly what it sounds like. We're going to make an omelet, but it's basically going to be all the ingredients you would normally find in a taco. So we're going to use some leftover taco meat from we had tacos last night. So we had the leftover like uh, ground beef taco mix. Some leftover taco meat there. We're going to scramble up some eggs to make the omelet. And then we're going to stuff it with uh, some sauteed onions and peppers. Add some goat cheese, some avocado, some salsa, my new favorite hot sauce, Ninja Squirrel right there. Don't get any better than that. Now, since we're not going to have a taco shell or chips or anything like that, you still need something crunchy so you kind of get that feel of the taco. And so we're going to go with a red cabbage cilantro slaw. If you don't want to make the cilantro slaw, you can still just kind of go with some shredded uh, romaine lettuce. But we're going to top it off with the, uh, the slaw when we're done. Let's get to it. All right, now our first step, we get some bell pepper and about a quarter of an onion. I used probably about equal amount. So I went with a quarter of a small onion and a little bit of bell pepper, kind of diced up. We got our, hand, our uh, pan heated to medium, medium low. Get some olive oil in there. And we're just gonna kind of brown this stuff before we put the eggs in. Actually, what I'll usually do when I'm sauteing this stuff, I might turn it back up to medium, but then before I cook the eggs, I'll turn it back down a little bit. You don't want to cook your eggs too hot. You know, that's, a, that's a mistake a lot of people make on eggs. They'll try to cook them on medium or medium high. You want them to cook them on, cook your eggs on medium low so they still get a nice, nice soft texture. We'll let those uh, let those veggies kind of soften up for a couple minutes before we add the eggs in. You always want to slice the avocado with the back of the knife. You don't want to slice through it like that because then you'll slice through the peel into your hand. You go right like that. Now it's ready to rock and roll. All right, now you don't want your veggies completely soft. You still want them to have a little bit of crunch for this recipe. So, but once those onions start to look a little bit translucent, that's a big word for kind of see-through, right? And you know, it's time to add the egg mixture. So I got three eggs scrambled in here. I'm just gonna kind of pour it. I'm just gonna do, kind of stir it around just a little bit so that way the egg gets underneath of the um, underneath the veggies. Now I'm just gonna let that cook for a couple minutes so it's ready to flip. We flip it once, fill it with our ingredients, and time to grub down. All right, so before you flip your, your eggs, you wanna kinda free it up from the pan. Underneath of it like that. So now we know it's, it's not really, no, it's still attached over here. See, if I would've tried to flip that, it would've ripped it apart. We go here, nice quick flip. Boom. Now it's only gonna take a second to cook on the other side, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. I already got my leftover taco meat. Now this is basically just uh, you know, lean beef made with a taco seasoning pack. Like I said, we had tacos from last night, so anytime you have taco meat left over, this is kind of like my go-to the next day. All right, I'm gonna go with my goat cheese first, and again, you can go with you know regular cheese if you want. I just really prefer the goat cheese. layer the taco meat on top of that. Get salsa mixed in there. I'm gonna go with half an avocado. Now if you're not as quite of an avocado maniac as me, you can tone that down a little bit and go a little bit less, but I like a lot of avocado. And now all we gotta do up, add our crunch on top. Now this slaw is basically shredded red cabbage, some fresh cilantro, 
a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper, and a little bit of fresh lime juice. Now, if you want to keep it simple, you can just shred some romaine lettuce, and it's going to kind of give you the same, same effect, but the crunch is just not quite the same flavor. Here we go. Nature's number one food, number one source of protein, the almighty egg, reinvented in the taco omelet. This will keep it fresh for you. You guys will love this one. I almost forgot the most important part. You gotta have a good sriracha. I'm in love with this Ninja Squirrel. Got this at Whole Foods. Great flavor to it. And of course, you wanna put it on in the signature amp for Myers, just like that.